am worthy as the lamb who was slain to receive glory and honor. Thank you, Jesus, for all you are. Guys, I can't let a good thing go. I was uh, thinking about the short lesson that the Lord put on my heart about being abased and being bountiful in Him spiritually so you can bless other people and precious came in. But while that happened or before it happened, I was told to pray for you guys again. So if you don't mind and you want to take a moment, I'm just going to pray for you and pray that the Lord Jesus will just touch you and hold you and keep you. Father God, I just thank you so much for whoever you have to listen to Tony Tucker's channel and Precious, that they'll be inspired because of you, Lord Jesus. They'll draw closer to you and, and desire you because you are a real God. You are the God who keeps us, even when we feel like we're out on our own and we don't hear from you. Oh, please don't take your spirit from your people, Lord Jesus, or those who don't know you. Let them come to know you. You're as precious, so they will grow in you because without your spirit, it's just a terrible thing. I can only imagine if you don't know the Lord and you don't have the Holy Spirit, how empty you might feel. So I ask Lord that you would feel and indwell with the believers and unbelievers will be drawn to you to know you and your good news. That's good news that you came into the world so we could have abundant life here on earth. And then when we go into eternity, that we'll have everlasting life with you and we won't um, suffer eternally, Lord Jesus, a burn. So I just pray for everyone who's sad, who's lost someone, who's hurting, whatever they're going through, Lord, that you would comfort them and loose your angels around them and bless them and thank you, Lord, and let them know somehow, let them know because of miracles, let them know because of phone calls or letters or emails or texts or visits or conversations out in the public that you love them. You love us all, Lord Jesus, and touch these people who who may not know me or anything about me, just know I'm a child of God and I'm praying for them. But most importantly, you love them, Lord. You die, you rose again, you're coming back and let them receive you in their hearts or recommit themselves to you if they've gotten away because we are living in these days when things are transitioning and changing and the, there's a paradigm shift in so many things, spiritually, politically, um, socially, on the global scale, Lord. Things are changing with technology and we know you're coming back back to get the believers and to rapture us up in the rapture or the harpazo again. The harpazo, which is a Greek word for the gathering up of the saints, Lord Jesus. We anticipate that and we look forward to it. So I just pray that you would just give a hunger for everyone listening to the sound of my voice, God, that your Holy Spirit will deal with their hearts. And Lord, where there's tears, where there's sadness, where there's hurt, where there's remorse, for whatever reason that you would let them know and comfort them, touch them with your Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus, and let them just have sound biblical teaching and hear from you and let them know everything's going to be all right because of you, Jesus. We love you. We thank you and we praise you in your mighty name, in the mighty name of Jesus of Nazareth, in the mighty name of he who has the matchless name, who's the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the I am that I am, the great I am, worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive glory and honor. Thank you, Jesus, for all you are and all of our concerns are taken care of. All of our needs are taken care of. Our health, our finances, our relationships, everything we've been sad about and hurting about and whatever drags us down that we've been holding on to. Lord Jesus, there's freedom and deliverance in you and we cast our cares on you and we thank you for your love, for your joy, and for your promise because your word says that you you, God, are not a man that you should lie, nor the son of man that you should repent. You're the truth, Lord Jesus. So let us stand on truth and peace and let us intercede for those who don't know and give them dreams and visions and breakthroughs that are based on you and bless them forever. And let the tears flow. Cry on, you all. Get it out. But don't stay there. Walk on in victory in Christ Jesus. Amen. God bless. Now you can like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you next time. Right, Precious? Say, see you next time. This is my baby. All right, we'll talk soon.